Labor union bosses have a new scheme to effectively eliminate secret ballot votes in union organizing campaigns. They call it the Employee Free Choice Act. But it's not about freedom or choice. It's about hijacking workplace democracy. It should really be called the Employee Forced Choice Act. Instead of voting by a secret ballot, the Employee Free Choice Act would effectively take away privacy when voting to join or not to join a union. Rather than voting in the privacy of a voting booth, like on election day, union bosses could look over your shoulder while you sign a binding contract. They could even come to your home and pressure you to sign on to joining the union against your will. It's already happening to thousands of workers across the country. And if union bosses pass the EFCA, it could happen to you, too. The union went to my house many times. I didn't open the door because I already knew about them, because they didn't say their names when they knocked. They also invaded. But I opened the door, and they wanted to force their way in. To many, it, they did. But to me, they couldn't do it. The union came to my house one afternoon. I opened the door and let them come in. They sat. They told me that they came on behalf of my boss, that he had sent them for me to sign a card. They went to my house. I don't know how they find nobody in my house. There were six ladies. They went to my house. And right away, when I opened the door, they got the paper, they want me to sign right away. La Unión fue muchísimas veces a mi casa. The union went many, many times to my house. The time I remember that they harassed me, I remember that very, very well because I was very sick. The union just showed up one day. We, we were coming into work and they just showed up. It was two ladies and a man. Every day, every day, in the morning, any time. I know I felt intimidated because they were always there. If, if, when you walked out, they were right in your face all the time. You say, I, when I decided I didn't want to belong to the union anymore, they would follow me to my car. You tell us, I said, I told us every day, just leave me alone. Well, they don't. But you lady, I told him, my son, I can take it no more this time. I was ready to quit the job, really. They forced these ladies. A lot of ladies, they forced to send the paper. I saw when they were doing Me sentí intimidada. I felt intimidated by the people from the union, that they brought the card for me to sign, and I didn't know what the card was. And they insisted that I sign it. They have insisted so much, and it was my house. I saying to them, I don't want to sign that. Please go away. Leave me in peace. I don't, I never be able to understand the union organization because after I told us, no, they don't understand what no's mean. We don't need a union here. I worked for 11 years in one company and in another for seven, and they didn't do anything for me. I mean, me, I don't know what, what they were going to be negotiating for. They wouldn't even say, well, well, maybe we'll do this or that. They didn't answer any questions at all. They said, well, if you sign this piece of paper, it's like a petition or something. So I signed up. And then later I find out I joined the union. I did not know I had joined the union. I would consider them being very deceptive. At that point, I did not want to belong to the union. I had found out that there was, they were lying about a lot of things and I just didn't want to be part of it. 